Hello everyone and welcome back to another marvellous survival episode where pretty much everything that we build gets destroyed or... Well, well you yeah. don't know that. It, you I you think just basically because... promised that everything we build today is going to get destroyed. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, I'm, that's I'm what you said, that where everything we build I mean, gets this, destroyed. This, no, but this place is coming on so nicely. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying it should be destroyed. I'm saying that's Aaron, just what you were promising. Negative thoughts leads to negative things. That means that everything will get destroyed just because you think so. I think this it's going to be a happy so... and wonderful time. <laughs> Look, the last, this was the last guy who tried to do any maintenance job. All that's left is his bloody welder. Ah, <sighs> poor Steve. <laughs> Oh my god, we did we, we, we destroy things. This needs a whole repair. We need to fix that. Oh, take me on a tour. There's loads of these loads of mi well, magical mysteries that something I'll need to see. that you apparently didn't see at all in the last episode, even though it was there. Is if you follow me down here, I built this large look? hallway here. Ooh, what? And I on have on our here? medical area down here now. So I ah, put our nice. medical thing right here, and I can even much. I feel much room. safer. It yeah, really but... reminds me of a World War One trench bunker. Yeah, it's the ceilings very are bunkery. a bit more, Yeah, I, I love the fact that it's sort of squarish when it deforms mm. now. It's nice, at least when you go along the, like the... Maybe, maybe we need to invest in other floor blocks, though, the interior floor blocks. It's expensive. It yeah, I know. It's pretty expensive, and... I don't know, What's I was going worried on about oh, no! counts, frankly. Uh, yeah, there's some extra space down below. I was going to keep going and put, like, rooms in or something, I don't know. A mess mm, wall, maybe. Nice. I also Have just de disassembled our medical area, so don't go dying. Oh, actually, no, you Could can we... die, you can just respawn here. Ooh, Could we ooh, perhaps like a have a room where you have to enter a number every, once every day, or otherwise this oh, God. place will dest get destroyed? You have been busy, Sage. What? what this, is ma this is mass production. Oh, right. You didn't. I also did this during the last episode. Apparently, you didn't see that either. I did. No, I didn't see it. Yeah, add in some assemblies and stuff. God, this thing's stuff. producing away. Yeah, yeah. They're all slaved up to like three and seven. So you can queue wow. up stuff in three and seven, and then the other ones will just build sh shizzle whizzle. What? And then I have and, uh, like redundancy piping on some of this. At least then it's Tazu, uh, you also built this bridge, didn't you? In the th in the three seconds it took me to disconnect, it, you bloody it, built it. It's, a it's really just what do you see? Because um, my plan was to there's a bridge between Sweden and Denmark, and one thing they're missing on that is a way to disconnect Sweden from Denmark. Because I think <laughs> we should do that. But. You, we need, in case of a big ship needs to come through here for some reason, we need to be able to move the bridge away. Yeah. You know, when you move the bridge for ships. Oh, so yeah. I tried out a version with pistons, then I realized that would kill us all and be too expensive. <laughs> so it's still a fixed. <laughs> yes, it would kill us all! Ooh. Nobody would yeah. Oh! So, okay. So I just built a fixed uh, bridge over to my side, to my little hangar. Mm. I see you have it all connected up. No stairs to get down yet. Or oh, gravity. the next. It'll be the next thing, I'm pretty sure. Mm, yeah. yeah, it's pretty nice. And in here is going to be my uh, physics studies room. Physics studies. I like the fact that it's on the other side of the base. Yeah, it just only blows up. It doesn't Amazing. blow everyone else's yeah. stuff. In case I create a black hole or something. Right. I'm, well, well, I'm going to try. I might put another level on this hangar. I'm not too sure. I've this, this uh, got yeah, you know, things. all those pipes and stuff that I put in the assemblers, the plan was mm. where I have like this big square junction right here. The behind that, I was going to have a large cargo container to hold all of our stuff instead of just using that one. You kind that's, of, that's a, you that's, know, no, that's a, that's a really good idea. Yeah, because you yeah, can literally was, put the large cargo. Right right. Yeah, you can put it right here, and then any ship that comes into the hangar can refuel, offload, reload. All right, I'll put it here anyway. Then that works. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, maybe so put some nice. paneling on top of it or something that way it doesn't look mm. like you fall into it. Why though? We could have like a little nozzle that extends on a piston out as well, so it's out of the way when we don't need it. Oh, we could lower I down on a rotor. Oh, no, overcomplicating it. We're not doing that. Okay. You, you, you didn't ask away. planning permission before you went ahead and <laughs> built all the, some of your stuff, so you know I'm just gonna build it the way it should have been. All right, I'm moving um, Herbert into his hangar then. Oh, Herbert's hangar. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds like a TV show. <laughs> it does. Herbert. Saturday Herbert's night, hanger. Herbert's hanger. <laughs> Herbert's hanger. You would... You've got a few engines that re need to be done, but not really a problem. Why did I just bring all this over here? Mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. dag nabbit. Son of a Don Quixote. Mm -hmm. And let's go straight to the arcs and just drop the stuff in the arc, eh? Oh, the landing gear's not even bloody finished. That's why it doesn't really work. <laughs> Clever girl. So... Yeah, that, or didn't you have to like sever the? Oh my god, the landing gear or something to even get to it. Mm, mm, I do not bring back bad memories. <laughs> oh 
All right. All right, wait. I'm finishing taking down the old medical thing, and I'm going to make sure we got our medical things all up and running. Uh, if you happen to die and it says there isn't currently a functioning space to respawn, don't respawn. I can fix it. But I don't think there should be any such issues such as that. Okay, dokie. Okay. Share with my faction yet. Yeah, we got one that should already be running, so. Get the second one up right so, now. Well, does a hang is a hangar door necessary? No, Aaron, you, you, you put in unnecessary items and you need to think more survival. Can we build a spa? <laughs> you need to think more survival. Can we build a spa? I'd love to have a spa. My you skin know, is so uh, itchy uh, in this suit. The, 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 th the big thing though that's getting me is we got this lovely bridge. I just love a robot to drive back and forth across it. Uh, that's we should just build like an asteroid oh. city here. Let's a robot. No, 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 no. I know exactly what sort of robot we should build. What's yeah. the stacker truck? It's yellow and it's small it's, it's and it's old and it's from Birmingham. What? Stack a truck. Broom, broom. No, 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 that's horrible. That scared the crap out of me. Why were you so scared of that thing, anyway? And, oh, it was possessed? And my comments were very clear that it was not from Germany, apparently. It was from England. Oh, it was a possessed little car, that. That was horrible. Well, from I Birmingham. Think... Yeah, yeah. That was why it was called Room, wasn't it? Didn't have a <laughs> Birmingham accent. <laughs> You've never even spoke. What's yeah, a car no, about Yeah, but when cars he spun his speak. little, spun his little um, Kickstarter or whatever it was. Cars can't speak. Well, there's a whole TV uh, movie series called Cars that would be the different. Also, modern cars can speak to you often. Play channel yes, I have four. A button, but I can... Okay. It is very important that now, since we have comms interference, that we switch to a secret frequency because Move I channel. can hear Russians. We stayed in the top channel, you idiots, didn't we? Well, Come on. not yeah, my yeah. fault. You guys are the ones. Oh, Aaron's Snobs. left. See, there's Keepsy speaking. Good morning, Keepsy, or evening, I guess, for you. Hello. Hi. How's your day going? Do you want me to, you want me to move you down? No, I'll move in a minute. I just thought, you know, I'd, I'd sit here for a second and see if they pop back up and yell at me to leave this channel. Rebel. Yeah, yeah some, something point. sort of like that, you know. Not, not as bad as Tazu, he'd build explosives and hide them in our base to rebel. What a bastard. Sometimes. Okay, now I'll move down. See ya. Good day, sir. Good day. Well, hello there. Hi, how you doing today? Good, I, I have a theorem. I'm going to present this to you later on. Just need to have a presentation ready. Mm, a presentation. Are you going to put in like little chairs so we can sit there? A little stand yes. with a microphone? Yes, I would hope there would be a block where I could project my equations onto, but Ooh. no. Yes, the block oh. I added yesterday wasn't exactly what you were hoping for, was it? No, oh. I was hoping for something more Minecrafty, so to yeah, say. Yeah, like a sign. Uh, that's what I thought it well, was going to yeah, be when I first read it. I was like, oh, it's going to be like what I always hoped they'd add, a little sign. I get the feeling that they might actually get to that because the sign, when you type information in there, it has a cutoff limit where it doesn't let you put so much information in. So I suspect it is actually going to be like that in the future. They were just getting the first version of it in. Yeah, because when I saw my mate send me a message on Facebook, like, oh, have you seen this? They have sign blocks in Minecraft. Now, what's it work then? I was like, oh, shit. Uh, it's basically this. This is going to be epic. I can do lots of cool things and write poems in a game. And everyone can see them without having to fly up to the sign. It'll be awesome. Exactly. And I don't have to write them in, on beacons. So you don't have to look. Yeah, I, I really do think it's going to, that's their plan, is to have it like that. It's just that it, this is stage one of it, as they usually do. They let you get it, you give a little bit of feedback, and then they get it up to stage two. It'll be pretty good, I think. I do believe so as well. Knowing what they can throw out in a very limited time, it is not yeah, unimaginable. It's not unlikely, is it? Uh, one thing I am concerned about here in our base, by the way, is just the sheer amount of stuff that's queued up right now. Do you mean who did that? Well, I suspect it was a Taz Zoo because there's just a trillion different things queued here. When I queue things, I queue like, I don't queue the object itself. I, I, well, I do, I, I queue the object, not the items. You need to queue the items, or try to. So if, I, if I want a refinery, I press shift and then I click a hundred times. That's not, we have so much excess stuff right now. <laughs> Ooh. It's a bad part, so I think we can use it for some. Well, yeah, but, but it's sometimes you're like, okay, I need this, and now there's a million things in your way. Don't queue more than like one little page. Also, yeah, just don't queue more than one page. 
By the way, Ooh. speaking of things added to the game and the fact that limited space on that text screen, which means it probably will actually show on the actual screen itself, I also was thinking about all these little tabs at the top of the screen now if you press K or whatever. It's getting to be a bit much, I think. Too many tabs. Too I mean, many right now it's fine, but I mean it's like on the border. Like if they add one more, it might be trouble. So I'm thinking maybe, hopefully, they'll start merging some of these. Like the comms and the GPS tab, because they could easily be in one. Because look at the scale of it all, you know? Oh, I'm sure they will. I'm yeah, sure they will. Yeah. I think I think they just want to try. They're just trying to get the features in, aren't they? At the moment. Uh, that's Maybe a good got... point. It's still an alpha you... game. What am I saying? Yeah, it's still an alpha what game. What about still a folder tree? What, what? A folder tree. So you have the inventory and production <laughs> under one tab, <laughs> as you said, and then you, as you said, comms and GPS under one tab because it's sort of related. Yeah, but you don't want to really narrow your things down at the moment, do you? Do you want to just let them go crazy? You add as many features as you want. <laughs> Well, yeah, you have, yeah, because it's such a public game, you can't exactly do exactly that. You have to still have it somewhere. Alpha. Alpha. Early access. Alpha. Yeah, but I mean, it's a public game. I mean, the public can access it. Even though it's yeah, early yeah. access. You don't have to make it super pretty, but what I'm saying is because everyone is looking at it, you want to have some level of quality to it, which they've done yeah. great so far with. Uh, does Alpha, does that imply that they used add a shit ton of features? Uh, alpha and then is... Beta, you fix the things. Yeah, yeah, basically. Alpha, you put them in. Beta, you polish them up and get them working properly, and then. No, it depends on the, it, does, it does depend on the model a little bit and how, what sort of model they're going for. Because some gaming companies release their alpha or their early access as a demo to give. Nobody you a move. And... Nobody move. I drop my drill. <laughs> you drop your drill. Oh, it's some help looking for it. Where is it? I do not know. You in your little hangar? Oh, I had it. I put it in my pocket apparently. Okay, yeah, but uh, yeah, I think they that is good the way to do it. Just throw things in there. Yeah, I'm just saying it because it is such a public facing game, because there's so many people who watch it and stuff, and it's I suspect going to be an elf for quite some time, they just need to work on organizing some. Not right now, I'm saying, but if they think, okay, let's add another tab, that should be like the last tab they add before they go ahead and maybe start merging some of these or switching them about. Is production and inventory, I'd love to have both those oh, right no. next well, to each other. Yeah, and just yeah, the yeah. UI, I wish it was scaled down a bit more. Because it's very, very big right now. You know what, you know what I say? I think, I think, uh, if, I think ram it with features. Just, ra just, just keep going. Keep going. You can tidy it up later. It's, you just, just work on the features. And if you, a, a little bit of a menu being a bit long does not hassle me too much. Yeah, but I think we need to worry about new players coming into it. Because the game, it's going to survive if, it doesn't get too many new players, but Minecraft has survived for eons. And this game is far superior to Minecraft. It's got much more complex. But if somebody what you're gets saying, in... you might be people stabbing you. We'll let them out. stab me, okay? But the thing is, if somebody gets into this game, you don't... You know, you always get people on your videos going, Oh my god, how do I do anything? You know, because you open it's up the game... Learning curve, and Yeah, it? exactly. And it only makes it worse if you have a thousand tabs and it's not organized. So I'm but just saying... They need to th take that into consideration moving forward. They can keep... It, don't... They just... You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, is it I a high know, learning I, I, curve, though? Because, I mean, it, building it, a basic it, ship is really simple. Yeah, it is. Yeah, if you want to make things I'm like pistons saying... and, uh, like, use trigonometry to use robot arms to build things, then it gets really complicated. Exactly. Well, let the learning curve what be to. what it is, but just make sure the UI doesn't look like it has a mountain of learning curve. Like going into Sins of Solar Empire, the first time you load that, you're like, there's two million icons, what does any of this mean? Well, if there's two million icons here, but the some of them merge, you click on it and you very quickly figure out, oh, okay, comms is communication, and it's got GPS here on the right side of the screen or something with it. I don't know, that's, it's just simple stuff that I'd like to see done, not this year necessarily, but I'm just saying if they keep adding new tabs, I just worry. That's, that's the main thing I'm worried about right now is just tabs. Long term, I'd like to see changes to the UI, as in I can drag my terminal screen around and leave it up and just press like tab to activate, to activate my mouse or something, you know, to be able to, okay, I'm working, working, press tab, click, 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 press tab, and I'm controlling my character again. But that's stuff down the line stuff I'm talking there. Well, when, when they get know. to a point in beta, when they're ready to redo the whole UI. Well, I'll tell you one subject that I would like them to look at, and that that'd be definitely you know you know multiple people in one ship operating multiple functions. That that would be something that really ex. Re yeah. I'd really be interested to actually see 
what they've got planned for that. Mm. Like, what, what what are the plans? Because, I mean, like, if, if you want a ship that has multiple people controlling sure. user-made turrets at the moment, it is a bit of a no-no. Yeah, because you can't have manual turrets right now, can you? No. Yeah. That would so be these nice. need to be six, six, one, two, three, you four. You said six again. Sorry. Uh, okay, there we go. May we? I, I kind of took off on a little project here that I probably should have asked you about. I'm tired of turning this whole section here into a number of three hangars that can store a variety of utility ships. Over on Tazu's side? Aaron, you built a Berlin Wall. Hey, hey, no, it's not the Berlin Wall. These are going to be a series of hangars. <sighs> oh, so, oh, look, this just this. Is yeah, you really. It looks like a big dam, actually. Right now, be good, the this. If we're not careful, there's going to be Ent coming in and tearing down this wall later on, and we're going to get flooded. <laughs> so that that'd be that. For instance, that would be one hangar. Go on like so, and if at this rate, we'll have enough hangars to store all of our ships. Yeah, but I have a hangar for my ship. Just make sure it's we leave like other way wide open because we are gonna need to bring ships in here to tear them down and stuff. What should we call my ship? We need a name for that one. Oh, I'm putting some blocks back. Um. Jar Jar Binks, I don't know. <laughs> I would like to call it Clint Bits. What does that mean? Nothing, I think. Does it literally mean nothing, or does it? are you just saying it doesn't... No, it, it's, it's not It's nonsense. not Swedish. Okay. It's not Swedish. Clint Bits. It just, it, so it's n nonsense, then? It, it, it can be a, a bit of an homage to a friend of mine. Okay. And this ship reminds me of him. But it looks like a badger, as well. God, he's not going to be happy about that, I tell you. You right. said, oh, he's a homage to you. Oh, yeah, it looks like a badger. Badger is a beautiful animal, Aaron. A badger mm -hmm. is a beautiful thing to waste. A terrible <laughs> thing to waste. Have you yeah, ever been attacked by a badger? Uh, no, we don't have them in Sweden. Oh, no, the badgers are very dangerous. When we were camping out once on um, our f the fake milsim, that wasn't a milsim, that said it was a milsim, uh, somebody became got attacked by a badger. It was, it was brutal. I wish I could do like a high pitched English woman voice. <laughs> oh, it was terrible! You was preposterous! Boy, hey, that, 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 I can't do it. <laughs> it is funny to think of a badger as being such a dangerous thing, but I have heard small stories and hints at such a dangerous thing oh, lurking around the most English dangerous. countryside! Most dangerous. Oh, no. It is like one of the most dangerous ones, especially once it's um, had some mushrooms. Then, then it's not going to be very good. So, yeah. uh, no, there's a thing that looks like a badger, but is it a badger? What? A it's skunk? Like... No, uh, almost. Oh god, skunk. We do have we do have badgers in Sweden. Uh, it's the other thing we don't have. They're called uh, washing bears. Wash. Washing bears. Yeah, Tvetbjörna. Well, um, I've heard one of them before. You do have them in the US. They're a big. Issue because they eat all your garbage. Oh, just black bears. foxes? No, they're white and black. I think. What? They're the... like rat pandas. Rat? Oh, um, raccoons. Yes, raccoons. Just remember, rocket raccoon. There you go. Yeah, they're 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 awesome. I fucking love yeah. raccoons. Yeah, that's what my ship reminds me of. There was a um sick one that we had on our property about a month ago now. And my dog had gotten out of the house. I had left the door ajar without knowing it, and everyone was over. We finished eating dinner, finished watching TV, and we're like, we haven't seen Lad for a while. Where the hell is he? So I go back, and I had heard some crashing stuff back here, and I expected to find, like, a broken plate or something from an hour early. I'm like, Lad, where? Uh-oh. The door was open, like, an inch. I'm like, son of a gun. So we all went out looking for him. My dad goes over to our garage because it's... We got a nice amount of property, and the garage is separate from the house by, well, about a two-minute walk. And he goes over there, and as I finally found Lad over on another piece of property, and I brought him back, I see my dad running away from the garage as my sister's pulling up in the car, like, What's going on? And apparently, he went behind the garage to find a massive raccoon, a big, fat one. He was like, Back off! And he grabbed his stick and poked at it, and it just came walking towards him. He was like, Whoa! And the stick was like a twig, basically. So he dropped that, he runs to the front of the garage, turns around, and it's still following him. He picks up a piece of wood out of like a trash bin, and as he pulls it out and hits it on the ground, oh, he tries to scare it away. Is. The piece of wood just shatters in half. So he's like, what? The, uh, what? 
and it's still coming at him. So he jogs away down the down the drive of the garage as my sister's pulling up. She was pulling up to go look for Lad on the street. And she's like, what the hell is he doing? As my tall, thin father comes sprinting backwards away from the garage. And she, so he gets behind the car, basically, and the raccoon comes and sits in front of the car. So she revs her engine and pulls up about a foot or two further, and the raccoon just walks towards the car and then sits even closer to it. It's like, what the hell is that raccoon doing? It's like fearless, derpy raccoon. Eventually, I guess it just, just gave up and ran back away. Like, okay, I'm not getting anything done here. But it was strange. And then it died because we found its dead body like, uh, wow, it must have you gave it a heart attack. Well, I'm thinking it had rabies. So, oh, wow. well, is it, that would explain its help? weird activity, wouldn't it? If it was coming towards her like that, not making any sense because you get illogical and they can get, you know, more brave and stuff when you got rabies. Aaron, a small detail in your building of the Berlin Wall. You what, the what did he say? What did he say? In your building of the Berlin Wall. That's what we're calling that, by <laughs> the way. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm, we're you... keeping that name. That's going to be the How? Berlin Wall. How are you supposed to drive your rovers on top of this when there are oh, that's bloody like, barricades on them? It's a good point, but I constructed it as a defense for tanks, and I realized I now there's no tanks in space. It's not going to make too much... Leave them there, though. It looks yeah. awesome. We'll build, a like, a overpass with ways for vehicles. 